Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part two of drying flowers in silica gel and then putting them in resin. So this is the putting them in resin part if you didn't know. So the first part is already up. That part has um, everything that I do to dry flowers in silica gel. So I took an entire beautiful bouquet, here it is, uh, and I put all the flowers besides a few things in silica gel. I showed you guys how I do it, how long it takes, how to take them out, and what they look like at the very end. And now in this part, we're going to be taking those exact flowers that I dried with you guys in the first part, and we're going to put them into a resin piece. So if you guys are interested to take those exact flowers that we dried together and put them into resin and make a magical piece, then continue watching. So I have my flowers here in dish box. Uh, if you want to see them close up or anything like that, and again, if you want to see how I dried them. I will put a link somewhere around here for the first part of this video. I'll also put a link down in the description, but there is an entire video showing you guys how I dried them and also showing you guys what they look like close up as dried out flowers. So if you want to see any of that, check out the other video, the part one. So we're going to get started. I'm going to bring you guys over to my desk and we're going to get started on mixing up some resin. I am going to be using the Culture Cast casting resin from Counterculture DIY. I will link that resin down in the description. I have no plans for how I'm gonna design this. I think I'm gonna start with like foliage on the very bottom and then just kind of like pack all of these flowers. I really wanna get all of these flowers into one piece. I think that that would just look really cool. I think I'm also gonna use one of my circle like cake molds. Technically, I think it's a baking mold, like a literal cake mold. I got it off of Amazon and you can find it linked in my Amazon supply list. That is down in the description. So let's just freaking jump into this. We're gonna go over to my desk, get started mixing up some resin, and we're gonna go from there.
Okay, so excuse the phone clip and the hair. Um, I just ripped off my mask. We're in another room now. So obviously this piece is going to be kind of a larger piece because we're working with like full flowers. With larger pieces, you do have to do it in layers, which is what I'm doing. So this very first layer, I did most of like the greenery, I guess. You know, kind of like more of the background stuff. And I kind of love how it's coming out because it's sort of like a star. Like it's just, it's just perfect like symmetry, I guess. The purple is gonna be so pretty, like just like a little touch of like dusty purple in the background. I, I love how it's coming out so far. So what I just laid down today is going to be the background for the entire piece. So I'm doing that in one whole layer. We're gonna let that cure overnight for 24 hours. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna do the next layer. So I think the next layer, I'm gonna add most of like the bigger flowers. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to get the rest of the flowers, like the big ones, in, in the next layer. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna do like all, all the resin in this next layer. It just means I'm gonna pour a little bit of resin and then we're gonna start putting those flowers in. I'm not gonna cover them completely because that would be way too much resin at once. So tomorrow we're gonna come back, pour probably around the same amount of resin, which today I did around two cups, maybe a little bit less but I did mix up two cups, most of it went into it. Tomorrow, I'm probably gonna mix up the same amount and then we're gonna start packing in the flowers and I'm probably gonna pack them in the center where all of, like the ends of the stems are to obviously cover the ends of the stems. I think this is gonna be a magical piece. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the next layer.
Okay, you guys, so we are finally at the end of the road with this piece. There has never been a truer use of the word finally uh, until right now. We're finally here. We're finally done with this thing. It took me eight layers, and I know that you guys saw seven layers, um, but what happened with the seventh layer was that I thought it was good. I thought the flowers were completely, you know, covered and everything. But when I came in the next day to pop it out, uh, I saw that like the yellow rose, which is obviously the tallest part of it, was kind of, it wasn't like poking out, but it was just barely touching the surface um, of the resin. And I just, I couldn't have that. It needs to be completely like glossy, perfection, flat. So I went in with another, like the tiniest layer you've ever seen in your life. Um, but yeah, I went in with one tiny last layer, an eighth layer. I actually used the Thin Viscosity Artist Resin, which cures harder than the casting resin. So it actually worked out. So our top layer is nice and hard rather than uh, the casting resin, which does cure a little bit softer. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna pop this thing out because it is fucking heavy. Um, so I'm gonna like loosen the sides. All right, here we go. We're ready. Oh, just look at that. Look how shiny, look how perfect. Pretty thick. <laughs> oh my God, what? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it's literally water. So I controlled myself. I controlled my glitter obsession um, for you guys because I feel like I put glitter in literally everything. So I wanted to do a piece that did not have any glitter or anything just to see how water-like I can get it. And it literally just looks like, it looks like a big slab of ice with flowers in it. So here's what it looks like close up. I, I love that I didn't do any kind of background, you know, like as far as colors or pigments, there's no glitter, there's no anything. It's literally just like focused on the flowers. Like the, the whole background is basically just like a firework of greenery and then the flowers in the very center. It's just, it's honestly, the whole thing is kind of like a firework of flowers and it's it's honestly so crazy looking it's crazy to go from like the side to the front and like this is what the back looks like oh it's weird okay so i'm gonna show you guys some close-up shots of this enormous piece it's kind of insane oh my god the more i look at it it's like there's so much to look at and i love all the different textures okay here are the close-up shots What do you guys think of it? It honestly to see it like standing up on a table and to see it in the sun is kind of wild. 
Like, I just, I love how crystal clear it is. There are some micro bubbles, like in the last layer I did, but it's still like crystal clear. It is so pretty and wild to see it like from the side. I know I keep saying that. It is pretty crazy to see and it's standing is just insane. It doesn't, it doesn't even look real <laughs> sometimes. What's also crazy too is that we took these flowers fresh a couple weeks ago, dried them together in silica gel, and now they're in resin forever. <laughs> like this is just wild. So I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to take you guys like from, you know, a fresh flower, you know, flower bouquet to drying them and then putting them into resin. Cause I do get so many questions about, you know, like taking wedding, people's wedding bouquets and how they could dry them and then put them into resin, you know, to keep them forever. So that was one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do this again. You know, obviously like my techniques are a little bit different, um, but I, I get so many questions about wedding bouquets and people wanting to keep them forever. So I hope that this helped you guys in, you know, keeping those memories forever. And again, if you did not see the first part of this video where we dried these flowers in silica gel, I'll try to link it down in the description of this video. So if you have any questions about how I dried these flowers, you'll probably get your answers over in that video. And I thank you guys so much for watching this video and the other one if you watched that one as well. Thank you so much for watching these videos. They're a lot of work, so I appreciate the love on these kinds of videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> so if you guys are interested to take those flowers that we dried together and make a fart, then continue watching. And then we're gonna go from there, so I'm excited. Oh, God, why did I have to ruin it? Okay, so excuse Wow, that just started off perfect. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. My eye is leaking. I don't know. You know, sometimes... Sometimes I just don't know. Sometimes I just don't freaking know.